Let's make a self-watering solo cup. You're going to need a few things, as seen here. Now let's make some holes. About four on the bottom of one cup will do, and then you're going to need something like this to place at the bottom of the cup that doesn't have holes. This will separate the two cups from each other. Here I'm going to repot one of my Independence Day tomato plants from an earlier experiment I was doing. Everyone has their own potting method, but this is mine. In the case of tomatoes, it allows me to put the roots as close to the bottom as I can as I fill it up from the side. Then I gently start packing the soil in to make sure there's no air bubbles. Give the roots the best chance they can. As you can see, the cups don't go all the way into each other, and you can start watering it really good to make sure all your soil is settled in and in case you want to top off more soil. Let this set for about 10 or 15 minutes, the first go round, because you're going to want to pour out the excess water from the bottom. This is going to be the only time you do this because in the future you're going to add about a third a cup of water to the solo cup so it will wick up into the other cup holding the plant with the holes at the bottom of it. Pretty straightforward. Hey, thanks for watching.